we are now going to find the vertices and the foci of a hyperbola. And the important thing to remember here is that if the x squared is the positive term, then the vertices are going to be at a0 and minus a0. And if the y squared is positive, then they're going to be at 0b and 0 minus b. So that's what we're looking for right there. And that'll give us our vertices. And our foci, in this case, c squared is always going to be equal to a squared plus b squared. So if we know what a is, and we know what b is, or rather they're squares, then we can find the c squared. And the foci are going to line up with these. This is going to be at c0 and minus c0 for the foci. And so these are the vertices. Or they're going to be at 0c and 0 minus c. So that's what we need to do, is figure out what a, a is and what b is, and then use those to find c, and that will give us our vertices and our foci. So, here we have a slightly difficult problem. We have 28y squared minus 36x squared and 63. So the problem here is that this isn't a 1. This isn't in standard form. So the first thing we have to do is divide everything by 63. Well, this becomes easily becomes a 1. 28 over 63 has a 7 in common, so that leaves a 4 and a 9. So this becomes 4 9th y squared minus 36 and 63 have a 9 in common, which leaves a 4 and a 7. So this is 4 over 7 x squared. And so our, a, our b squared, which comes from the y, is 9 fourths, and our a squared is 7 fourths. Well, now that we know what b squared and a squared are, we take their square roots. b is 3 halves, and a is the square root of 7 halves. Because remember, we always take the positive. So now we know that our vertice, which is on the y, so the vertices are at 0, 3 halves, and 0, minus 3 halves. The foci comes from finding c, and c squared is equal to b squared plus a squared, so this is equal to 9 fourths plus 7 fourths, which is 16 fourths, which is 4. So c is 2, which means that my foci are at 0, 2, and 0, minus 2. And now I have correctly found all of the information I was asked to find. I found the vertices and the foci. Well, let's look at another one. x squared minus 4y squared equals 8. Again, we need to divide by 8 to get x squared over 8 minus y squared over 2 equals 1. In this case, a squared is 8 and b squared is 2. So a is equal to 2 square roots of 2, which is the square root of 8 broken down, and b is just the square root of 2. Well, c squared, I'm just going to find this now, is a squared plus b squared. So c squared is 8 plus 2, which is 10. So c is the square root of 10, which is a little bit more than 3. Now my x determines, so I'm going to take the a. It's not always the bigger one. It's the one underneath the positive variable. So my vertices are at plus minus 2 square roots of 2, 0. And my foci is at plus minus the square root of 10, 0. And I've correctly found my vertices and my foci.